Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. Today, we got another game for you. Now, I know it's Monday, but this is not going to be a mismatch Monday game. This is actually going to be just a regular game between two evenly matched teams. And those two teams are going to be the 1976 Oakland Athletics, who won 87 games and scored 686 runs, while allowing 509 runs. And the Baltimore Orioles of 1976, who won 88 games and uh, scored 619 runs and allowed 598 runs. So they had one more win, but based on that Pythagorean run scored uh, formula, looks like they should have been worse than that. But anyway, the two teams are evenly matched. They're both very good teams. And we're going to get underway with the game between those two teams. All right, well, let's look at the lineups. Starting with the A's lineup, and the uh, first batter is Phil Garner, Scrap Iron, who was also on the 1979 World Champion Pirates. And then followed by Bill North, who will be the center fielder for the A's today in today's game. Um... And then batting third is Joe Rudy, who won the gold glove in 1976, as you may or may not know. Uh, and he is a left field one, as you can see. And then you got Gene Tennis. Gene Tennis batting in the cleanup spot for the 1976 A's in this game. And then Don Baylor, who was also on the Orioles, but not in 1976, but he was on a lot of other teams, too. And then you got Sal Bando, who will be the third baseman and was the third baseman for the great A's teams that won the World Series. And then Ron Fairley, Ron Fairley, part-time player, but today against um, Palmer, he's going to be the first baseman. And then you got Claudel Washington, who was also on my White Sox. And then Campy Bert Campy Campanaris is going to be the shortstop for the A's. And that is the A's lineup for today. All right, well, the first batter, as we recently just said, for the uh, A's will be Phil Garner, the second baseman. And he is batting against Jim Palmer who will be the pitcher for the Orioles today. Now, Jim Palmer in 1976 was 22 and 13 with a 251 earned run average. And um, he's right to bat. And he gets a 610. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball third base X. The third baseman is um, Brooks Robinson, who in 1976 was the third base two, and so that is a two, and uh, that might actually be a base hit right there. And that is going to be a single, yes. So Phil Garner gets a board with a single. He is a stealing double A. Um, he gets a lead, I believe he gets a lead. Um, It's a lead three to six, so we'll we'll try that. And he doesn't, so he isn't going to steal. He didn't get a lead, so he's on first. And Bill North is the batter, and he gets a one eight, and that's going to be a a ground ball second base B. So now he is on. Uh, first base. He gets a lead 2-7, to seven, 11, or 12. Let's see if he can get a lead. He can, and he can try to steal. There's one down, um, and he would be safe 1-17. to 17. However, uh, the throwing arm of Rick Dempsey, who, as we mentioned, is the catcher, is a negative 1, so that would be Negative one and the hold for Palmer is 
zero. So it would be one to 16. He's going to try that. And he's out. They gunned him. So they got, they got out Bill North. Two guys have tried who or have at least thought about stealing to lead off here and didn't. Were unsuccessful. And um, let's see. Garner got a, uh, I forgot. I didn't mark this down. Um, Garner got a single. Yes. He got a single. And then North um, hit into a uh, ground ball B. And um, yeah, let's mark him down. He's getting out, going to second. And so now Joe Rudy is up. And he gets a 310, and that's going to be a ground ball C, five, uh, third, or ground ball to third base. Uh, wait a minute. Nope, second base. So he goes out four to three, and, um, and he was out stealing, so um, North was. So that is the, the first inning for the A's. They get no runs. And you can see we've got the scoreboard over here, and we're in the bottom of the first now. So you got leading off is Al Bumbry for the Orioles. And he'll be in center field. No, he'll be in left field today, actually. And then you've got Ken Singleton. Batting third for the Orioles is Reggie Jackson in his only year as a Baltimore Oriole. And then Lee May will be the first baseman and batting in the cleanup spot for the Baltimore Orioles. And then you got Bobby Gritch. Bobby Gritch will be the second baseman for the Baltimore Orioles today. And then Brooks Robinson, historically great third baseman, although he was a two in 1976, but he'll be the third baseman for the Orioles today. And then Paul Blair, the center fielder for the Orioles, bats after Brooksy. And then you got Mark Belanger, their gold glove at times, uh, shortstop. Very good defensive shortstop. Couldn't hit very well, though. And then Rick Dempsey picks up the rear as the catcher for the Orioles in today's game. And the Orioles lineup is coming up, and that is going to start with Al Bumbry. Going up against Vida Blue, the recently passed away Vida Blue. Sad day for A's fans. <laughs> um, and he gets a 5-8. He is a lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman for the A's is um, Garner, and he's a 2 that is a 20. That's probably going to be an out. I'm going to guess and it is. So he goes out four to three. And Singleton, Ken Singleton, is the batter for the Orioles with one down. And he gets a four six. He is a switch hitter, so he would be batting right. And that is going to be a double. So Ken Singleton rips a double with one down. And Reggie Jackson up. Reggie Jackson in his one year that he spent on the Orioles. And he gets a 6-8. He is a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball. Second base A. Runners don't move. And so, or the, the runner doesn't move. And so he went 4-3, to three, Jackson did. And Lee May is the batter. Lee May gets a 2-8, and that's going to be a, is that a home run against a lefty? Yes, it is. It's an automatic home run. And that gives the, uh, that gives the Orioles a 2-0 lead. And Bobby Gritch is the batter. And he gets a 5-7. He is a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. So... Ah! Uh, 
didn't know you were going to toss it quite so hard, ball thrower. Lee May, he hit a home run. And that scored Singleton as well. And then Gritch struck out for the third out. And the Orioles have two runs. It is 2-0 Orioles. And we go to the top of the second with Gene Tennis up. Gene Tennis, of course, the catcher for those great A's teams that won the World Series. That is going to be a 6-2. He is a righty. And that is going to be a... Um, is that a home run? I don't think it is. No, because... It's a ballpark homer, and the ballpark um, home run for a right-handed batter is a 1-11. to 11. So that is going to be a uh, good batter. So we'll say that it's a fly ball to left, fly out to left. And so that is an F7. Don Baylor is the batter. One down. And he gets a 6-5, and he is a right-handed batter. And um, that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Orioles is Belanger, and he's a 1. That is a 10. So let's see what that is. That's going to be on his card. His error rating, 11. On a 16 is going to be an E1. So one base error by um, uh, Belanger, uncharacteristically. So that's an E6 that he reached on, and uh, Sal Bando is the batter. One out, man at first. And that is a 2-5, and that is going to be a, um, yeah, versus a righty, right? Yeah, it's going to be a single to center field. And they're going to hold, uh, Baylor's going to stop at second. And Ron Fairley is the batter. Ron Fairley, who didn't play a lot for the A's in 1976. He only had 46 at-bats and hit 239. But... He was fairly good against righties, and he gets a 3-3, which is going to be a um, single. It is a ballpark single, but it is still a single. So the bases are now loaded for the A's, who are down 2 nothing and really needed that. And Claudel Washington, the right fielder, is the batter with only one out. And that's a 5-7. He is a lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. They Really, that's the last thing they needed right there. And that brings Burt Campanaris to the plate, the shortstop for the A's. And he gets a 2-11, which is going to be a line out to second base. So the A's come close to getting a run right there. They did load the bases up, but they didn't come away with anything, and we go to the bottom of the second. And so we're going to switch this to the second inning, and it is still 2 nothing for the moment, and it should have been already switched to the second, but anyway. Brooks Robinson's up, and he gets a 3-10, and that is going to be... Against the lefty, that is going to be a single. Single to right field. So Brooks Robinson with a hit. Paul Blair is the batter. He gets a 4-10. He is a righty. That is going to be a walk. So Vita Blue it has allowed the first two batters on after giving up two runs in the first inning. And Mark Belanger, the shortstop, is up. They're going to sacrifice with him, I believe. Yeah. And that is a 9. So a bunting A, 9, is batter is thrown out by third baseman. Runners advance one base. So now you got runners at second and third with one out. We're going to list that as a sack. 
because it was. And that brings Rick Dempsey to the plate. The catcher, not a very good hitter in his own right, but they'll let him hit away. And it's a 2-5, and that is going to be a fly ball B. So that does score the run. That scores the runner on um, who moved all the way over to third, which was Brooks Robinson. So Brooks Robinson comes home. And that is a sack fly. And Bumbry is the batter. Bumbry the batter with a runner at second and two down. And he gets a 5-7. He is a lefty. And that is going to be a strikeout. But the Orioles come away with another run. And now they lead 3-0. And we go to the... Bottom of the second, and in the bottom of the second, we're back to the top of the order for the A's because they did load the bases last inning, and that's going to be Phil Garner, the batter. And he gets a 3-4, and he is against a righty. That is going to be a home run. He hits a home run off of Phil, or off of Jim... Palmer. So the A's are on the board with a Phil Garner home run. And Bill North is the batter. And this is the top of the third, right? Yeah, this is the top of the third. And uh, that is a 4-7. He's a switch hitter, so he would bat left. And that is going to be a walk. So Bill North is aboard with a walk. Um, he's going to try to get a lead again. And he does get a lead. And, he, and so he's going to try to steal again. And this time he makes it. So he does steal second base. And he is at second with Joe Rudy up. Joe Rudy won the gold glove in 1976 and he gets a 3-3 which is a ground ball second base C that moves the runner over to third base and so now Bill North is 90 feet away with Gene Tennis up and only one out in the inning and he gets a 5-5 he is a right-handed batter and that is going to be a home run So he gets a home run and knocks in two runs to tie the game. Gene Tennis does. North scores on that, and obviously so does Tennis. Bringing up Don Baylor. And he gets a 4-3. He is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. First baseman is Lee May. He is a 4. That is a 12. So let's check it. That's going to be on his E rating. And Lee May's E rating is... A 6. So we'll roll the dice. And refer to it. 9 out of 6. At first base. And that is going to be a ground ball double play. Except it's not a double play. Nobody was on. So he is out. Yeah. Baylor is out. Ground out three. And Sal Bando is the batter. Sal Bando gets a 1-8, and that is going to be a fly ball to left field. So that's an F7, and uh, but guess what? The A's tied the game. So it's 3-3 in the bottom of the third now. Let me make sure I got that position correctly. The uh, scoreboard. Yep, I do. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Um, Ken Singleton is going to be the uh, batter for the Orioles here in to lead off their part of the third inning. And he gets a 4-6, and he's a switch hitter, so he would bat um, right. And that is going to be a single. So Ken Singleton gets a base hit. And he's two for two with a single and a double today. And Reggie Jackson up. And he gets a 2-7, and uh, he that's against a lefty, and that's going to be... A double. Jackson hits a double. We're going to, um, they'll stop Singleton at third. And really, Vida Blue, this is not a good showing by Vida Blue at all. Lee May is the batter. He gets a 1 9 against the lefty. That's going to be a line out to third base. So he really needed that. Something along those lines. So there's one down, and Bobby Gritch is the batter. And he gets a 5-10. He is a righty. That is going to be a single. It's a ballpark single and knocks in a run. So the Orioles score yet another run, and Brooks Robinson is now up. Runners are at the corners. Jackson moves to third. And uh, Brooks Robinson up, and he gets a 5-8. He is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Uh, the second baseman for the A's is Garner. That is a 17. And 17-2 is a ground ball double play. So that is a, uh, that's a sweet DP, which they really needed. But the uh, Orioles score another run. And the Orioles have not failed to score in any inning yet. And we're going to the top of the top of the fourth. And the Orioles have a four to three lead here. Ron Fairley is batting against um, Jim Palmer. And he gets a two eight, which is a strikeout. Ron Fairley Kays and Claudel Washington is up and he gets a 4-4 four, four, and that is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher is Dempsey. Dempsey is a 3. That is an 8. So let's see what that is. 8-3 is a ground ball. So he grounds out 2-3, to three, and Burt Campanaris, the shortstop, is up at the plate with two down. And he gets a 1-5, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Palmer, Palmer dispatches him pretty quickly here. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the, uh, with the A's losing 4-3 to the Orioles. And Brooks Robinson, no, no. Paul Blair is the batter. Paul Blair gets a 4-8. He is a righty. And that is going to be a line out to third base. Line out five. Belanger is up. The shortstop. One down. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a righty. And that is going to be a strikeout. So look, maybe it looks like maybe Vita Blue has calmed down a little bit, but he's not. But he's losing, and Dempsey is up, and that's a four-seven, and a four-seven is going to be a single. So Dempsey gets a base hit. A lot of hits today off of Vita Blue. Not very good. Two down, man at first. Bumbry up. Bumbry gets a two-three, and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He throws them out, 1-3, and the Orioles have their first zero inning as we go to the top of the fifth. We proceed to the fifth with the Orioles still holding their slim 4-3 lead, and Phil Garner is the batter. He gets a 2-8 against a righty. That's a ground ball to the third baseman. So he goes out five to three. Bill North is up. 
Bill North gets a 5'11". He is batting left, and that would be a fly ball to right. The right fielder is Reggie Jackson, and he is a 2. That is a 10, so let's check that. 10-2, it's going to be on his error rating. And his error rating is a 15. An error 15? Wow. All right, so he's an E15. We'll roll the dice. That is a six. Six on an E15 in the outfield, which is still unbelievable. Um, and that is going to be an E2. That's a two base error. So Bill North gets on by a two base error um, E9 by Reggie Jackson. And Gene Tennis is the batter. Or no, wait, wait. No, Joe Rudy. Joe Rudy is the batter. My mistake. Man at second. One down. That is a 212. He is going against a righty. And that's going to be a line out max. That's a line out um, to uh, third base double play. So no runs come in despite the, uh, the best efforts of uh, Reggie Jackson to let the A's get on the board. Um, and now we go to the bottom of the fifth with Singleton up. Vita Blue still out there for the moment, although I don't think he's going to be long for this game. 4-4, four, four, he is batting left, or no, he's batting right. And that's a catcher card X. The catcher is Dempsey. He's a 3. That's an 18. 18 and 3 is going to be a pass ball followed by a foul out. So there is one away. He fouls out to the catcher. Or wait a minute. Nope. Sorry. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to, well, he's still a three, so this, this it still applies. So it is a foul out to the catcher. Um, it's just the other catcher, which is tennis. Reggie Jackson is up with one down. And he gets a 2-8, which is going to be a... Um, it's going to be a ground ball first base. So he grounds out to the first baseman and Lee May is the batter. And he gets a 111 and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So six to three, he goes out. The A's get no runs in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth, still in a four, three game here really close between these two teams and you know their records were close so you would imagine that the game would probably also be tennis is the batter here in the leading off the sixth and he gets a fly ball left field just misses a double don baylor is the batter he gets a 2-6. That is a strikeout. Of course, Don Baylor also played for the Orioles during his career, but he played for like 15 different teams. Sal Bando is the batter, and he is going to strike out. So they go quickly. Um, Palmer gets rid of him quickly there in the uh, top of the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth with Bobby Gritch up. Um, Vida Blue still out there. I mean, the game is still close, and he has pitched well lately. 5-5, five, five, he is a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball right field. So, Gritch flies out to right field, and Robinson is up with one down. And he gets a 4-5, he is a righty, and that is going to be a single. So, a one-out single by Brooks Robinson gives way to Paul Blair. Now we're in the bottom part of the Orioles lineup. 
Not a lot of great hitters here. 2-6, though, is going to be a fly ball right field. So he flies out to right. And Mark Belanger is the batter. With two down and a man at first. And a 6-7 against a righty or a, a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a... Fly ball center field B. So he flies out to center and the Orioles don't get any more runs there against Vida Blue. In the sixth, we move to the seventh inning. Seventh inning, it's 4-3. As uh, what was it Red Barber would say, this game is, is, is uh, tighter than a new pair of shoes on a rainy day. <laughs> back when shoes were true leather. So we're going to the top of the seventh and Ron Fairley is up and he gets a 5-7 and that is going to be a strikeout. Ron Fairley. So he struck out twice. He's one for three, a single, and two strikeouts. Claude L. Washington is the batter. He gets a 4-3. He is a left-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball first. Lee May is a first base four. That is a six. So we'll see what that is. Six and four. That's going to be a single. So Clyde L. Washington works his way on with a single. And Burt Campanaris is the batter with one down. And he gets a 210. And that's against a righty. That's going to be a single to center field. They're going to hold uh, Washington at second, I think. He is a running. No, he's a, you know what? He's a running one to 17. So um, to center field. Wait, or no, to, uh, to, um, to left field. The left fielder's arm is... Um, that's Bumbry. So Bumbry probably, I'm going to guess, doesn't have a great arm. It is a plus one. So it's a one to 18. So yeah, they're going to definitely send him. And he does make it. So now they got runners at the corners. Um, yeah. So runners are at the corners and Garner is up course you know the Orioles are the home team they don't want to give away to uh, give way to a big inning so they're going to stay back on the infield Garner gets a 6-7 he is a righty and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman the second baseman for the Orioles is what is he he is a one that's Bobby Gritch that's Bobby Gritch and that is an 18 and a 1 is going to be a ground ball A. And that is exactly what they wanted. And the A's played right into their hands. Um, with Garner grounding into a DP. And the A's getting nothing in the 7th. We go to the bottom of the 7th. Um, you know what? The A's, I think, are going to make a pitching change here. The new pitcher is going to be Paul Lindblad. In 1976, Paul Lindblad was 6-5 with a 306 earned run average. And he will be the new pitcher. And Rick Dempsey is going to be the first guy that gets to face him. In the bottom of the seven. And he gets a 1-9. He is a righty. Lindblad is a lefty, just like um, Vida Blue was. So 1-9, that is going to be a ground ball second base. So Dempsey goes 4-3. to three. And Al Bumbry is the batter. Al Bumbry gets a 2-5. That is going to be a strikeout. And Ken Singleton is up. Two down really quickly here. And that is going to be a 5-6. And he would be batting right. So that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. Of 
Ground out three, the Orioles go quickly. We go to the top of the eighth. And it is four to three with Bill North as the batter. As the batter, Bill North. And Jim Palmer is going to be out there. I mean, Jim Palmer in 1976 pitched 315 innings. So, yeah, I think he's good for it. What do you think? 5'9", he is a switch hitter, so he would be batting a left. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Bill North with the K. Joe Rudy is up. And that is a 4-6. Um, he would He's a right-handed batter. And that will be a fly ball to right. Flies out to Jackson. And Gene Tennis is up. And Gene Tennis gets 3-10. Which is going to be a double. So Gene Tem Tennis gets a double. And there is a runner at second with two down. And Don Baylor up. And he gets a 4-8. He is batting right. Um, he is a right-handed batter. And he's batting right because he's a right-handed batter. And that is a walk. So, or wait a minute. No. The, the runner on second stays at second. I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, but there are runners at first and second with two down and Sal Bando, the batter. 4-8, he is a righty and that is a walk. So Ball four. Ball eight. Low and Vaughn has walked the bases loaded on 12 straight pitches. Uh, Palmer has loaded the bases. And now, yeah, the runner does move over. The bases are full for Ron Fairley. Now, Ron Fairley, I mean, the dude had a good card against righties. We're going to let him keep batting. He gets a 6-9. No, he's a left-handed batter, and that's going to be a fly ball, left field B. And you got to believe that um, even if I had pinch hit for him, it would have been with a left-handed batter. And so it would have still been the same result. And we're going to the bottom of the eighth with Reggie Jackson up. Reggie Jackson, the uh, stick that stirred the drink, although that was for the Yankees the following year. 4-8, four, 4-8, eight, four, eight. he is a left-handed batter, and that is going to be a triple. Reggie Jackson legs out a triple. That's crazy talk right there. Which brings up May, and they're going to bring the infield in because they cannot afford to allow another run. And that is a 110. He is going against the lefty, and that is going to be a single. It's an infield. It's a uh, ballpark single, so the run scores. Jackson scores, and Gritch is up. And Gritch gets a 3-4. And uh, against the lefty, that's a foul out to the catcher. Brooks Robinson is up with one down. Man at first. 2-9. That is against the lefty. That's going to be a ground ball shortstop double play. So the double play ends the inning, but the uh, Orioles do score a run in the eighth. Forgot to put it in the scorebook, but anyway, uh, they do score a run. And so now it's 5-3 here in the top of the ninth. Claudel Washington facing Jim Palmer. They need two runs to tie the game. And it is Claudel. Yes, it is. Claudel Washington, 4-6. Left-handed batter, that is going to be a fly ball center. Bert Campanaris is the batter with one down. Again, needing two runs, not a great situation. 6-6 six, six for a righty, that is going to be... That's going to be a fly ball left field B. He just missed getting a double, so that's going to be... Uh, Fly out to seven, and that brings us to the top of the order. And Mr. Phil Garner, scrap iron, and he gets a five six, and that is going to be a that's going to be a single. 
So scrap iron keeps them alive here with a hit and uh, allows Bill North to get to the plate with two down and a man at first. And that is a 2-4, and that is probably going to be an out. Looks, it looks bad over here. It's a ground ball shortstop B. It is. He goes out 6-3. And so, really, that is your final score right there. The uh, 76 Orioles beat the 76 A's by a score of 5-3.